Welcome to the SCORM Dispatch Information Session. I'm Laura Baldwin, Manager Policy and Advice with State Records New South Wales. Today I'll be providing a brief overview of the SCORM Dispatch solution for e-learning modules available through the State Records New South Wales Learning Portal. As you may be aware, in September 2024, we launched eight revised e-learning modules that cover various aspects of record keeping responsibilities. These are general modules that are applicable to all public officers in New South Wales. We've already had a number of individuals from New South Wales public officers enrol in and complete these modules through the State Records New South Wales Learning Portal. The modules have been well received. We are aware that some public officers would like to use some of the revised modules for their own organisation, but have a clear preference for hosting the modules internally in their own learning management system or LMS. We have some exciting new functionality available through our learning portal. We're able to provide SCORM files of the e-learning modules that essentially act as a window to the content still held in the State Records New South Wales learning portal. You'll notice when you download the SCORM files that they're smaller than you would expect, and that's because they only point to the externally hosted content rather than actually containing it. New South Wales public officers can download the files and embed them into an LMS as you would with any other training content. This means you get to retain oversight on completion statistics, you can make the content mandatory or assign it to specific roles in your organisation. You could also choose to create additional training content around the State Records New South Wales files, which could be tailored to your own systems and policies. However, since the SCORM files don't actually contain the training content, they only point users to the externally hosted content, State Records New South Wales is able to retain control of the modules. This is great for everyone because it allows us to ensure that the training remains current. If there is a legislative change or a URL update, we can amend the centrally hosted file and all embedded modules will automatically point to the updated content. This functionality also allows State Records New South Wales to receive completion data on the modules, which will help to inform our own planning. We've already conducted initial testing of this functionality with two public officers, and we are now confident in sharing the solution with a broader audience for further testing. We're confident that the solution works, but we know there may still be niggles, so we'll provide additional support at this time to those public officers who are trialling this functionality. Our intention is to complete the rollout of the SCORM dispatch solution to all New South Wales public officers who would like to use it in early 2025. Please be aware that there is a limited data sharing that automatically occurs when a user enrols in the State Records New South Wales e-learning module, even when it's hosted in your own LMS. We will receive the user's account name, which is usually their first and last name, the organisation that they're currently working at, and an encrypted version of their email address, which is not meaningful in any other context. All data will be managed in accordance with the State Records New South Wales privacy policy. Please reach out to us if you'd like to discuss this aspect further. To be able to download the SCORM files, you will need a valid learning portal account. This can be created easily on our learning portal landing page, which I'll show you shortly. Your account will need to be nominated to access the SCORM dispatch dashboard. Your LMS domain must also be whitelisted to be able to access. You can contact info at staterecords.nsw.gov.au to have your account nominated and your domain whitelisted. I'm just going to share my screen now so that you can see how easy it is to download the SCORM files. Okay, so you'll see that the State Records New South Wales Learning Portal landing page is currently on the screen. If you need to access this, you can follow a link from the training page on our website to get here. If I click on Log In, which is in the top right-hand corner of the screen, it will then take me to this login page. If you already have an account, here you can just add your credentials and then click login. If you don't have an existing account, you can click create new account to create one. 
Because I have an account that's been nominated to access SCORM dispatch files, I'll automatically land on the SCORM dispatch page when I log in. You can see here that the eight revised e-learning modules we have available are clearly accessible. If I would like to download any of these, I simply click on the title of the module and you can see that's automatically gone to my downloads folder. These are in your downloads folder. They can then be loaded into your LMS following your usual processes. Please be mindful that when loading the SCORM files into your LMS, it's really important that you edit the completion settings to ensure that they're set to course completed for it to work properly. What is there in terms of next steps? So there's a PDF available on our website, which can help support you in the process of downloading SCORM files to then embed them in your own LMS. But hopefully you've just seen how intuitive that process actually is. If you have any technical issues, please reach out to info at staterecords.nsw.gov.au so we can help you. If you would like to discuss the content of the training, or if you have any questions around policy or strategy, please contact GovRec at staterecords.nsw.gov.au. State Records New South Wales will follow up with public officers in the new year once we've seen a number of users from your organisation complete the course, just to discuss the implementation process, how it was for you, and potential opportunities for improvement, maybe also opportunities to develop further guidance or training material. We hope that these e-learning modules support you in improving records management maturity in your public office.